Um, as we have seen that drought has been one of the challenges in bean production and other crops, that's why we came up, came up with uh, this project to develop and identify varieties which are drought tolerant. Uh, so the varieties which we have released today, these are the varieties which are drought tolerant but they also have uh, farmer preference traits. The farmer preference traits include uh, yield, uh, seed size, farmers like varieties which are large seeded, and also seed color. Farmers prefer varieties which have uh, blight uh, color. And these farmers are also preferred by the market, both national and international market. For under APSA, we have released six uh, bean genotypes. These six, they are divided into three market classes. We have two sugar beans, uh, we have two lead kidney beans, and we have one lead motored and one large white bean. In comparison to the OLED released varieties, these are high wood, uh, they are large seeded. Currently in Malawi, we don't have uh, drought tolerant varieties which are large seeded and which are also sugar bean. Um, when we go on the international market, the international market, the preferred varieties are the sugar bean. But uh, since the research has started on beans, we have never had uh, bean varieties tolerant to drought which are sugar bean. So this is really a, a, a breakthrough to have large seeded varieties and also which are preferred by the international market. To the potential yield, the farmer has to follow the proper agronomic practices. The first one is to have a proper seed, to have real seed, not grain. The farmer has to produce seed. The seed can be sourced from the research station and the other seed companies who are multiplying uh, this seed. And then on land preparation, if a farmer has a, a, a good seed and then he has to follow the proper agronomic practices and this includes proper land preparation. The proper land preparation uh, farmers, they have to prepare land way before planting, like two months before planting. Because um, bean is one of the crops uh, when planted with the less juice, um, which did not decompose well. The roots do not penetrate well. So, um, emergence of the beans is reduced, um, which results in the low production of the beans. And after the land is well prepared, the, um, if it's under land fed, farmers have to plant beans on ridges. So the ridges have to be spaced 60 centimeters apart from one ridge to the other. And then uh, seed has to be planted at 10 centimeters from one seeding station to another. One seed per station. But before planting in beans, as well as the other crop, beans also needs a uh, fertilizer so farmers they have to apply fertilizer so fertilizer has to be applied before planting when a farmer is ready to plant he has to prepare well he has to have seed and also fertilizer the type of fertilizer is a uh, npk 2321 0 plus 4s this is the fertilizer which farmers have to use and this fertilizer is uh, 100 kgs uh, per hectare the way a farmer should apply the fertilizer in beans, uh, we apply, as I already said, we, have, we apply fertilizer before planting. So the farmer, they have to make a groove on top of the leach, uh, make a groove and then uh, spread the fertilizer inside the groove and then put the soil before you start planting. After that, you can plant, as I've already said, one seed per station, spaced at 10 centimeters apart. And, um, Apart from that, we have also to look into issues of weeding. Farmers, they have to weed and they have to uh, intensify weeding in the field, especially before the, the, the plant start flowering. Because when you weed, when the plants have flowered, you reduce the, the flowers are reduced and as a result, the production is also reduced. Farmers, uh, 
it comes to a point where farmers they have to harvest. What do they look at when harvesting? There are several factors which you have to consider during harvesting. The, the most important factor is when you're using the improved varieties, these improved varieties, they are known on the maturity period dates. So farmers have to consider, on, okay, this variety is known to mature after 80 days. So on the, the farmer is aware that on the eight, 80th day, he will start harvesting his, uh, his crop. On um, bean marketing, we know that farmers can produce a lot, but then there is this uh, uh, outcry about the bean market, about the prices on the market. There's this outcry. But for the farmers to get the um, best prices in their produce, farmers are encouraged to wait a little bit soon after, after they harvest their produce to get better prices. <laughs> Tawana ni mabu